Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how we can effectively use the repeat tool. Now we already have other tool called as step and repeat tool. That is a very different tool. We are going to talk about or we are going to look at a different tool called as only repeat tool or you can say it is a property rather than a tool. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you what is the other tool which is present in Corel Draw? So if I go to edit and I go at the bottom step and repeat. So this is a completely different option or tool altogether. But we are going to look or have a look at a at an option called as repeat tool. So how we can use this tool? There are two ways. First is a shortcut key, which is you can press simply press let's say if I do this thing and if I press Control R or Command R if you are using Mac then Command R then we will get a repeat of this particular step like if I press Control R or Command R we will get the repetition so this is called as the repeat tool so the step and repeat tool is completely different but the repeat tool or the repeat option that we are going to see now is very useful and very productive and most of the people use them but let us see how we can use them use it effectively so let's say if I create any object and if I move it so it will pretty much repeat whatever step that I took so that is why it is called as repeat option I am copying it using the right click option so presently I am using the shortcut key there is another way which I will show you later on. So we can use this particular tool very productively and effectively. So let's say if I draw an oval shape and I'll color it with whatever color, let's say red color and I will remove the outline and I will move the axis of rotation or the center of rotation over here. Then I press a, then I will press and hold control key so that I will get 15 degrees exactly the rotation you can always change the rotation setting which is presently set to 15 degrees you can change it by going to windows and option that I am not going to tell you but it is a very easy process so if I press ctrl r or command r you will get this very good design now if you want to see the effect of this particular design we need to use the transparency tool so transparency and in that I will use uniform transparency so we will get this result now again I am going to convert this into a group so select all and press ctrl G or command G to convert this all area into a group now this is a group so if I want to move it in center press and hold shift button and drag left click drag so it will reduce from all the areas from all the side rather and we can create different shapes like this and simply since this is a group by only one click you can change the color of the entire group like this so we can easily create some really cool shapes using the repeat option again let's say if I want some different shape let's say I want a shape of a petal flower petal so I will use shaping option over here you can create similar object using the smart field tool but in this case I'm going to use the shaping tool which you will get once you select more than one object if you select only one object you won't see that option over here if you select more than one object you will get the shaping options over here so using the intersect option I am going to create the petal like this and using the same technique if you want 30 degrees you can rotate like this but I want 15 degrees rotation as you can see 360 minus 345 is 15 degrees again I am going to press ctrl R so you will get this result and let's say I want this color 
and again I will remove the outlines and again I will use the transparency tool so we will get different result this time again group so this is a slightly different flower design like this now let's say if you don't want to use the shortcut key or you are finding it difficult to uh, copy using a shortcut key so what you can do is you can simply go to window toolbars rather dockers and transform and you will get this transform docker which is pretty much which pretty much does the same thing as the shortcut key control r or command r so let's say if i want to create similar effect you can simply create an object then change the axis of rotation or center of rotation you can change it from here also and keep it to again if you want to displace this rather than rotate this you can always do that so this is the position option and this is the rotate option so let's say if i want to change the position let's say i want to change the x position and i let's say i want four copies so this is the result that i will get pretty much what I did using the shortcut key. Now, if I want to rotate this, now using this rotate option, you can always perform the same thing. Let's say I want 10 copies and angle, let's say 15 degrees. So I will get this result. And let's say if I keep it to 35, not 35, let's say I will only keep it once and then I can press Ctrl or or can simply press apply more times so that you will get the same result so if you are finding it difficult to use the shortcut key you can always use this transform docker which i opened from windows dockers and transform <coughs> so either way you can use it you can either use shortcut key or you can use this transform docker but the point is this option uh, repeat option the shortcut key of which is control or command r is very useful again i will show you some more example let's say i will take this basic arrow shape basic arrow shape and using the transparency tool now instead of the uniform transparency i am going to use the linear transparency first of all i will color it then this is the linear transparency what is linear transparency one side is opaque and the other side is becoming gradually transparent that that is why it is called as linear transparency this side is not entirely transparent and this is this is 100 percent transparent so this is linear transparency so i'll copy this using right click then i will flip this and i will attach this over here and i will make a group of this Control g and using the same option control r or command r i will create some other shape so using any shape we can create really cool if shapes using the repeat option now let's say i will use a random tool so i will create a shape first let's say i will create this circle or oval shape and using the twirl tool i will create an abstract shape what is an ab abstract shape the shape which we cannot name is called as abstract shape because we cannot name it simply so this is an abstract shape now this is totally asymmetrical shape now we can create a symmetrical shape using from this asymmetrical shape using the repeat option and transparency tool now you again i'm using transparency so this is linear transparency again i'm going to copy flip again control g remember to use control g group this and rotate so i'm going to rotate this by 30 degrees and control r now see we have created a symmetrical shape using an asymmetrical object 
सो दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द रिपीट ऑप्शन नैन लेटर ऑन यू कैन क्रिएट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट सो दिस इज वॉट वी गेट यूजिंग द रिपीट ऑप्शन ना रिमेम्बर रिपीट ऑप्शन इज वेरी यूजफुल बट यू हैव टू यूज इट प्रॉपरली एंड मेनी पीपल यूज इट प्रॉपरली बट देर आर सम पीपल दे आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द पावर ऑफ दिस रिपीट ऑप्शन सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो आई आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल प्लीज गिव दिस वीडियो लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड टेन बाय बाय एंड चीयर्स